All right, guys, the last video we did was a little more complex as far as working through DCAs and understanding them. I hope you guys um, followed through that and kind of found it uh, uh, very infor informative as far as um, understanding how to add manipulated DCAs. Now I want to show you how to do it in a quick, easy fashion. Um, this is going to be a method that you're going to use if, um, let's say, you're only wanting to trade a pair for a day or a couple hours even. Um, or let's say we put out an update and you think, oh, dang, I want to I want to get this update, right? But you don't want to mess something up. It's super easy, guys. Um, as you can see here, I'm already in a trade. I have a buy. I have a DCA. I have a DCA. Super complicated, long, um, almost out in profit, right? I'm not quite there. Um but, you know, Bodjog just throws out an update and I'm like, man, I want the latest and greatest, but I don't want to mess up my trade. Easiest way to do this, um, you may have kind of caught on to it on my last video, but I'm going to touch on it one more time because I think it's just awesome. You're going to take the buy that you're currently in. You're going to highlight your little hash over this and you're going to look at the bottom. And you see February 24th, 2023 at 7.50 a.m. Now we know to do an existing trade, it has to throw a close before it could throw a buy. So we're gonna put in the date of one day back. So we're gonna do the 24th at 7.49. <clears throat> so all I need to do guys, once I've deleted this uh, indicator, um, once you know you remove the indicator, you've updated it, you've gone through those steps, um, now you wanna add in the existing trade. I just simply come into this spot here and I um, will scroll down to the existing trade section. Now I'm going to put in that date, 2023. Uh, I always move this over. It just makes it a little easier to, to see. Um, so now we know we want to do 24. And the hour, um, again, you can just highlight without clicking. So 749. So we're going to type in 749. And we're going to enable that existing trade. Then click anywhere off the screen or you can hit OK. Notice it's just going to replace this blue one with a teal one, um, it, but it's the exact same buy, guys, the exact same buy. So what this is going to do is it is going to enable an existing trade. Now, why would I want to use this? Two different ways. One, I just did an update or I accidentally removed my indicator and I want to line it back up. Boom, you're done. You set your alert, you're back in action, right? Second reason, whenever you choose the enable existing trade, it will read this as an open trade, but it, it will understand that you may have to change profit levels. You may have to change, modify stuff. So we built in a um, protocol that whenever this is checked, it will only take one trade. It will only close this trade. Once this trade gets out in profit, it is done. It won't make any more trades, won't even look for any more trades. It is no longer going to execute. So why would I use that? Well, I would use that on altcoins. Let's say I want to run a long only um, on a, a coin, but I'm getting to the top of the range. I'd like to finish my trade out. I got a little room to go, but I don't want it to take any more trades after that. And I got to go to bed. I can't sit here and watch it. This is where you would use it. The moment this trade gets out, it closes it. It's done. Um, you come in once, once it, you know, you get your sell, you do close it. At this point, all you'd have to do is come in, you delete that alert. You come back into your gear, right? And all you would have to do, if you changed any of your take profits, you'd want to do the default reset to settings. Um, if you did not change anything, all you did was you just wanted it to take one more trade. The only thing you guys, you have to change is back in here. That's it. So if I want to start this over and it took my trade, it got my win, I'm, I'm rocking and rolling, right? All I would do is update the time on this side again. 1604 and I'm going to flip from an existing trade to closing the trade out on chart you're going to see this all change but that's that's fine um, and we're going to give this a second to think if you're ever wondering what it's doing just wait for this little eyeball well, there you go guys now we are rocking and rolling we flipped it from the existing to get it back and going we just set our alert you know, we come in, do, you know, do the alert settings, drop it down to the one you changed, you know, name it, create the alert and you're rocking and rolling and it's back in trading. It's that fast guys. Um, <clears throat> you know, you can see here, I mean, it was a four minute video and, you know, we show you guys how to, uh, how to add the existing trade as well as how to reset it to defaults. Um, again, just to recap, if you want to do a trade that you're in, that you're currently stuck in, you're going to look for the buy that you took, do one candle back. That is the time that you will put 
in this section here. Um, that will keep this all the same. Now keep in mind changing the strategy will also modify that. So you can notice if I go to say range filter, it may not even be in this trade. <clears throat> it may be in a whole different trade, right? So you don't want to change the strategy. You want to, uh, uh, if you're going to put an existing trade, keep the exact same strategy that you had, um, or that could have a very different um, outcome as far as how it looks. So you can see this one's the same. Um, some strategies may actually change that. Uh, let's check Golden Cross, see if that was the same, um, or if you know if it take a took a little different path, right? So because the time before that is going to be very different. So that one, it is a little, a little bit different. Um, you can see your entries or DCA is a little bit different, but it still didn't get out um, fairly similar. But just keep in mind on your strategy, um, you want to try to keep the same one that you were running when you do enter that existing trade into this section. Um, just to recap again on this, close that trade on chart is what you do when you want to start a fresh trade. You're ready to go. You just want to turn it on. This one, the moment you turn it on, is going. It's looking for um, uh, long, looking for a short, whatever you're doing. Um, if you do check both of them, it will cancel each other out and do nothing for you. Um, if you have the enable existing trade, then that one is only going to take one trade. Whatever trade you set up, it's taking that and that's it. It's out. So um, I hope that helps you guys understand just how to set up the existing trades, how to um, kind of do it in an easy fashion without having to understand too much. Um, you can keep the default stuff. It's just locating that that original buy. Um, and then once you're done with this, you know, ensure that uh, if you are in this trade, that your entry is roughly around the same as the average here, not the DCA. DCA is when it entered it. Average is what your actual entry would be. So hope that helps you guys out. Again, if you guys have any questions, reach us at support at bobjock.com or you can ask us inside of the community.